Hello and welcome to our YouTube channel. Today I'm going to share with you my strategy for EV tires and rims, specifically the winter rim and summer rim strategy. And that's true not only for Kia, Hyundai and Genesis eGMP cars, but for any EV car. Winter tires are important if you live in a moderately snowy area. You can get by with all-wheel uh, drive and all-season tires if you live in a moderately snow-covered area. But if you live in a heavy snow area, you definitely need a dedicated winter rim. Consumer Reports did some testing with an all-wheel drive SUV with all-season tires and compared that with a rear-wheel rear drive or a front-wheel drive car with winter dedicated winter tires. What they found was the Honda CRV with all-season tires performed pretty much the same as uh, Toyota Camry with a dedicated winter tire. Basically, the all-wheel drive really helps start the car, but during the stopping of the car, a dedicated winter tire outperforms an all-wheel drive, all-season tire any day. Keep in mind that the Honda CRV is a much um, heavier vehicle than the Toyota Camry so it was expected to do better but it didn't and the big difference was dedicated winter tires so for safety I decided to buy a dedicated winter tire I'm going to share with you my dual rim strategy what I'm doing in the summer and what I'm going to do in the winter so I live in Connecticut where we get snow for about three to four months a year. So my summer tires, which is all season tires, are my primary tires where I use it for about eight months a year and I do a lot of road tripping in the EV6. So in that scenario, I put about 75 to 80 percent of my miles during the non-winter seasons and in the winter tire is going to be used sparingly so what i really want is an extremely efficient wheel and rim set for the summer and all season and a dedicated winter tires for january february maybe december time the ev6 is a great fruit tripping vehicle I take a lot of road trips in the summer. I typically do 180, 190, sometimes 200 miles, somewhere between 180 and 200 miles in a charge uh, from 80% to 20%. So I keep the battery in the sweet spot of 80 to 20%. And I typically take only 15 minutes to charge from 20% to 80%. 80, 80 to 80%. So instead of buying a dedicated winter rim, I decided to invest a little bit more and buy a specialty EV rim from Fast EV, the company. So they make the Fast EV rim, EV01. What it does, it has aero inserts and is meant to be used in an EV. So I also bought it in a downsized rim size so the typical rim size here is 19 inches and I bought this in 18 inches with the fast EV01 plus and uh, they've guaranteed the fitment and it, it actually works really well so the benefits of going with the speciality EV rim and a downsized rim 
there are five main advantages. First, the fast EV01 rim is about 10 pounds lighter per rim than the OEM. So this is about 31 pounds, this is about 21 pounds, just the rim. If you factor in the, the tires, it's probably slightly more, but it's about, you know, give or take 10 pounds lighter per tire. Number two, it actually comes with aero inserts. So the aero inserts typically account for three to five percent of range, which matters a lot. So having an aero inserts is extremely important. Number three, the fast EV rims are manufactured using a slightly different process called the flow from process, which is not as good as the fully forged, but it's somewhere between the regular casting and the fully forged. So this results in a much lower weight. Number three, if you downsize the rims from 19 inches to 18 inches, typically the range increases by three to 5%. The evidence is, um, I actually like the Kia EV GT line model, which had the 20 inch rims and it also had the pop-up door handles i really like the pop-up door handles but we really ruled out the gt line primarily because of the reduction in range it, it loses range about 20 miles so it's consistent with the three to five percent difference so the range improvement by downsizing from 19 to 18 will be pretty good now by downsizing the rim, I'm going to get a tire which has more sidewall, so increased sidewall. Instead of having a 55 aspect, this has a 60 aspect. This increases the comfort associated with the car. The EV6 is already a comfortable cruiser, so it's not as much of a factor for an EV6, but every bit helps. Now for my friends who have a Tesla so great cars but they are much more sporty oriented the, the suspension is more focused on sportiness than comfort so if you get the downsized rim with a thicker sidewall you can improve the comfort of uh, a Tesla vehicle number five cost the cost of an 18 inch set is about $140 just uh, lower than the cost of a 19 inch set, comparable set. It's not as big of a factor. Again, you know, factor in, you know, you typically use three to four sets of um, tires, and it all adds up. So it's a smaller factor, if you will. There is an optional sixth strategy that I personally did not implement. You can go with narrower uh, tire width. A special shout out to uh, Ford Maki. I just don't think having a heavy EV like the Mach E riding on 225s is a good strategy. So I decided to stick with my OEM tire width, but everyone has their preference. And I just wanted to bring that up as, a, as an approach or a strategy you could use, but I decided to not use it. I had to make some tough choices and compromises with my tire selection. I love Costco tires and uh, they really stand behind their tires and they offer great uh, service. So they have a good roadside warranty as well as a tire rotation, free tire rotation for life. So those are amazing benefits. And personally, I just love how they stand behind their products, especially tires. So I really look, wanted to look at uh, Costco. 
and for ice cars which I had before they had pretty good brands so they had Michelin's or Bridgestone's and I typically go with one of them but they do not have a dedicated EV tire so I really wanted the Hankook EV tire to maximize range and they don't have that right now hopefully in a couple of years things will change but at this point I was limited to what Costco would offer so I picked the Defender 2 tires it's also called um, Costco has a brand called Costco X-Store which is identical to the Defender 2 tires they are very long lasting 80,000 miles warranty and it's a Michelin you can't go wrong with a Michelin Costco ha also has the Michelin Cross Climates and those are extremely good tires I think they're all weather tires so they I personally did not choose it primarily because of the loss in range and I have a dedicated winter tire right so I don't want to be driving with the all-weather tire in the summer so I chose an all-season which is the Defender 2 tire and uh, longevity is the major thing and it's not going to be as great from a range perspective as a dedicated PD tire like a Hankook but uh, it's going to be better in range compared to a cross climate but if you only have one set of tires for the summer and winter you should really consider the cross climates they are great all-weather tires now, I did some testing with both the combinations, which is the Kumho Krugen with the OEM Aero rims from Kia. And here, with the Michelin Defender tires, with the fast EV rims, downsized to 18. So very interesting combination. So, and I typically do testing at 70 miles an hour, the out of spec style. Very, you know, shout out to Kyle. I love his videos. So I like to keep the testing ground the same for both the tires and rim combinations. So my drive to my office from Norwalk, Connecticut to New Haven, Connecticut is a 70 mile loop 35 each way and I go through the Merritt Parkway which is a little bit hilly it goes up and down small changes in elevation which is typically not range friendly and about 8 miles 8 to 10 miles in the I-95 which is flattish terrain and I typically go 70 miles an hour I sometimes hit a little bit of traffic um, you know typically two to three miles, but overall I have a pretty straight shot. So that's my testing um, Area if you will and I was able to test to do multiple tests uh, repeatedly and uh, did some tests more on handling as well as efficiency. I'll share with you the results Number one handling and agility I would give this to the Michelin Defender and the smaller rims associated with the fast EV rims. If you have a smaller rim as well as the Michelin Defender which has better grip than the Kumho tires, so this typically I gain in handling. Number two, looks can be very subjective. So whether you like the OEM tires Last but not the least, efficiency. Which combination performed better? Both the combinations from my testing performed about the same, surprisingly. So in my 70 mile test back to my office and back out of spec style, I got 3.9 miles to the kilowatt for both the combinations. So my theory is the lower rim size and lower weight of the rims from fast 
are the positives, they counteracted with the negatives associated with the Michelin Defender 2 tires compared to the Crugens. Crugens are definitely much more efficient. So it was a wash from a highway perspective at 3.9 miles to the kilowatt and for the local roads I got both the same about 5.5 miles to the kilowatt. So broadly comparable. Now in my testing I used a broken in uh, 8,000 miles to a gen tire with a less than 100 miles or 200 miles for the Defender 2 tires. So that was an unfair comparison. Tires typically break in and do and, get, and give much more range um, as you put like a thousand, two thousand miles or so. It typically does uh, much better. So in the longer term, I expect this combination to do slightly better than the older combination, but also better handling, longer lasting. I'm overall happy with the choice I made. I wish I had a dedicated EV tires. So my regret is that I didn't maximize the range by using a dedicated EV tire, but the outcome is not too bad. And I have a much more long lasting, better handling uh, car because of this. I'm gonna share with you some clips associated with the before installation and after installation of the past tires. I'd love to get your thoughts on which one you like more and whether my strategy and my theory behind tires and rims is right. I'd love to get your feedback into, into this and also let me know what else you want me to, to talk about and provide a, a video on. Thank you. Please subscribe and share. This is how the wheels look. This is how the wheels look. And this is how with the arrow. This is how it's gonna look. Now inflating the tires. Yeah. Look at that. Now the wheel and the tire is being inflated. This is how it looks with the arrow on. And this is how the rig looks without the arrow. The weight of the rim is 20.2 pounds. These are the old rims and tires. All right, let's check out the weight of the new fast EV rims and the Michelin Defender tire. It's about 52 pounds, 52.5. It's about 10 pounds lighter. All right, this is how the rims look with the fast EV01 plus wheels on. This is the end of our trip and the car averaged about 3.9 miles to the kilowatt, uh, over 35 miles of driving. Pretty good. I love the 19 inch rims with the Kumho Krugen tires. We are completed we have completed the 35 mile uh, trip and I am just about to enter my office and guess what we're about 3.8 miles to the kilowatt it's broadly comparable to what I got for um, the 19 inch setup with the Kumho Krugen tires I'm extremely happy